So now what we're going to do is we're going to compare our original graph to y equals x minus 2 squared. So now we have something inside the function. And again, a little overzealous here, this should be x plus 2. So let's plot these points. And again, we're going to take our original graph, put those points in. So we're going to draw, try and do a nice smooth curve through this parabola. Now, if you're ahead of me by this point, go ahead and make yourself a table of values. Make a table of values for those two equations that we have there. Again, we'll call this equation 1. We'll call this equation 2. And if we have 1 and 2 down here for our table of values, let's put in our value for x and figure out what y is going to be. So if we put negative 2 in here, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. If we put negative 2 in there, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Square that, we're going to get 16. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Square that, we're going to get 9. 0 minus 2 is 2. Squared is going to give us 4. 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 1. Square that, we're going to get 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. Square that, we're going to get 0. Now, the first thing we should notice here is we don't have any symmetry. Look at our table of values. There's no repeating. Every other one had symmetry. So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue on. Let's try 3, 4, and 5 if we need to until we can find our symmetry. So if we put 3 in there, 3 minus 1, or 3 minus 2 is 1. Square that, you get 1. Oh, I'm getting happier because I got another 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. Square that, we get 4. All right, we found the symmetry. And 5, of course, is going to give us 9. So same thing. Uh, only this time, I'm going to say negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Plug those values in. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Square that, we're going to get 0. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Square that, we're going to get 1. 0 plus 2 is 4, or squared is 4. 1 plus 2 is 3. Square that, we get 9. We notice we got the same pattern we had before. What we need to do is put some other negative values in to get that symmetry. So negative 3 plus 2 is 1, squared is 1. Negative 2 plus 2, or negative 4 plus 2 is 2, square that, we get 4. And so the table of values looks a little wonky, but we got our symmetry. So let's plot these points now. So first one I'm going to do in red again. Now I'm not going to plot 16 and I'm not going to plot 9 because it goes off my graph. I'm just going to plot these points in here because I can easily fit them on my graph. So 0, when x equals 0, y is going to equal 4. So we are right here. 1, 1, oh, that's a nice, the same point. 2, 0, 3, 1, and 4, 4. Now, it doesn't take a rocket surgeon to realize what's happened to our graph just from the plot there. So let's plot our second one. We'll do the same thing. We're only going to plot the ones that have symmetry. So I'm going to go negative 4, 4, negative 3, 1, 0, negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 0, 4. So we plot this graph, and there's what we get. So what's happened here? Well, we no longer have a vertical shift. We have a horizontal shift. So this time we have a horizontal shift, meaning we're shifting in the horizontal direction, which just means left or right. So what's happened for number two? This is a shift of 2 
to the left. And what's happened to the red one? It's a shift of two to the right. And so that's what we have to take notice of here, is our equation, if it was a negative, that shifted this value, 2. The negative made it shift to the right. If it's positive, it shifts that same value, but this time it shifts 2 to the left. So we can also call this a horizontal translation. So translation you'll hear as well. You look at translations more in grade 12, but you can think of that as a horizontal translation or a shifting left or a shifting right. We want to look at this vertex. What's happened to this vertex? Well, in the first one, our first shift, the vertex is now at x equals 2, y equals 0. And for our green parabola, the vertex is now at x equals negative 2, y equals 0. That's going to be very, very useful. And now let's look at one last thing before we move on, is symmetry. When we look at the green parabola, where is it symmetric about? Well, it's symmetric about that line, x equals negative 2. Where is our red parabola symmetric? That line, x equals 2. Remember that for the red one, where is it symmetric? x equals 2. Where is the green one symmetric? x equals negative 2. So that's what we want to keep in mind when we put it all together.